Hi, it's Russ from Protoss Expert. I want to show you a very, very quick trick uh, with the latest build of Blue Cat Audio's MB7 mixer. Now, this has various uses. It, it's, it's a great seven band uh, active equalizer to start with, but as some of you are aware, you can then uh, across the different bands host uh, VSTs. You can load a VST. Uh, so some of us are using it to load VSTs that you can't get for Pro Tools, so stuff like uh, G4 synths and stuff like that. But there's some really cool tricks you can do. One of the tricks that uh, Guillaume was mentioning the other day, and I've now had a go at doing it, and it works very well, is that uh, I've got this loop here. Let me just bypass the original, bypass the, the, the plug-in first. And... And then what I've done is I have done an instance of Superior Drummer with uh, a kick drum that I like uh, on the low band here. And then on the upper band, so I've got it in two band mode, the upper band I, and, and Transient Master. And then on the upper band, I've got Sarverb working. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm then sending a kick, I'm replacing or overdubbing or augmenting the kick from here and triggering it, so I'm sending it to Blue Cat channel 1 from this MIDI. I've replaced the kick, and now I'm triggering it from Superior Drummer. So what I can do is I can just mute this side for a second. So that's playing Superior Drummer's kick now. And they've got Transient Master in there as well to put some bottom end in as well. I can mix that into the track. At the top end, I've got uh, a snare the rest of the kit, but also I'm just going to, I've added Sarverb in just to give me a bit of extra space in that top end. So here's the original, there's the original, here's the new one. All done with one instance of Blue Cat Audio's uh, MB7 mixer. This is the latest build, and uh, it's also got Audio Suite built into it now, and so uh, very, very nice. So it's got it will host VIs, at VST effects, or VIs. And as I say, uh, for some of you, you might use this as a, a as a intermediate thing while you wait for the AX versions of your plugins, but some plugins are never coming over to AX, so you can use it to host those instead. And then the last thing I've done as well then is I can then then just offline bounce it over to, to a new track if I want to. So very, very cool. That's some really exciting possibilities uh, available on this plugin. So check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.